Hello and welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs and today of course never forget it because for me it's a good morning but it's probably afternoon or evening to somebody else out there so I'm taking a sip before I get started. <sighs> I love the moist, nice smell of black warm piping hot coffee. So if it's your first time tuning in, my name is Ronald Johnson and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. Now. I'm quite sure you're going through transition, you're trying to find love, you want to have a better relationship with yourself, or you want to do things you've never done before. This way I can help you and help co-create your reality or co-create the life you want to achieve because it is achievable within, not outside. Today's topic is, I think this is one topic that's on everybody's list, is money. And I read a good book today and I have to share this with you because it's so, so important. It's called Our Moment of Choice. And it's by about 10 different authors, authors and they have exactly, um, each one has a chapter they talk about. And I read some this morning, it kind of hit me. And it's in the moment of choice. Now ask yourself this question, what does money say to you? So I'll say it again, what does money say to you? And that's today's topic. Because money means a lot of different things. Money can mean financial freedom. Money can be buying a new car, buying a house, traveling, saving, uh, investments. Uh, it can mean um, that I can help other people out. I can start a foundation. I can do all these wonderful things when I have it. But the lack of not having it is what we all suffer, suffer from. I'll say it again. It's the lack of not having it is that what we suffer the most because we always want more. If you make 150K a year, Trust me, if someone gives you a raise of 200K a year, you'll find a way to spend 200K. If they give you a raise of 300K, you'll find a way to spend 300K, right? All walks of life, plus we have things we want. So I wanna to say to yourself, what does money say to you? Now I want you to take out a piece of paper or take out uh, your phone and kind of write down, really think and sit with it for a second. What does it say to you? Good, you did that. So let me tell you what money said to me when I first wrote it down. Because first, I had the same thing. I need more money, lack of not having enough, scarcity mentality. Uh, I want to do all these wonderful things, but if only if I had, if I want to, if only if I had, if only if I had, if I had more money. So what does money say to me? And then you can see right here, money says freedom. Money says help other people out. Money says love. Money says it will always be there to support you. Money says you can do whatever you want. You have enough money in, you, in your side your pocket right now. Money says, don't be lack of. See, all these things come up when you think about what it say to you because lack of is one thing, but what it says to you, when you sit down and sit with it for a second here, what does it say to you? What is What, what comes up? What's the first thing coming to mind? First thing came to mind is I have enough. When I, I thought about it. First thing came to mind is it loves me. Right? By changing our belief around money creates a different energetic reception. So if I'm always in scarcity mentality, not enough, not enough, and you always never seem to find enough, you make 150K a year, make 200K a year, you always seem to spend it because your relationship with money is messed up. Once you change your relationship with money, you change your belief system knowing you have enough money and there's plenty of money to go around. Trust me, there's plenty to go around. Mindset around money makes a big difference. So I hope you guys learned something about what does money say to you? So think about it. What does money say to you? And think about it through the rest of your life because it can change. Money means I take care of my kids. Money can mean I, I can travel to this wonderful place. But what does it say to you is always the biggest thing because then you understand your belief. Now, if you want to understand more about belief systems and how to create a different belief system that you already have, be it your parents had scarcity around money or a relative or even what you have now, be it you have debt or whatever it may be, I want you to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. Click on that bing, the script call button, let's talk, or we can do a Zoom call, and let's change your reality or your belief system today. Thanks for listening, and again, this is Ronald Johnson.